This video demonstrates the round trip scenario for updating an existing database using CA Owen Data Modeler R8. First, select Reverse Engineer from the Actions menu. Choose the model type, in our case physical. Select the target DBMS. We're using SQL Server 2008. You can choose to reverse engineer from either the database system catalog or a DDL script. Here you can choose which object types to include in your model. You can save these options for reuse later. This section gives you the option to include system objects and filter included tables by ownership. Where the target database does not have primary and foreign key constraints defined, you can choose to infer these. Enter the database details and connect. The database details are then retrieved from the system catalogue and the model is constructed. We can navigate the diagram with the help of the overview pane. Or we can construct a smaller, more manageable diagram containing just the tables we want to work with. Using the Subject Area Manager, we can create a new submodel. Give our new Subject Area a meaningful name, then choose the tables to include. In our case, we want to include just the product table and its parents. So we can use this tool to help us. Here we can choose the number of levels of ancestors and descendants of the selected table to add to our submodel. Now we need to show the tables on our new diagram. And choose how we want them to be laid out. We now have a small manageable window on our model where we can make our changes. The first change I'm going to make is to add a new column to my table. First I select the table, then tab into the column area and hit enter to get a new column. I can then just type in the name and click outside the table to complete the edit. Next I want to add a new table, so I select the table tool and click on the diagram where I want to place it. Again, I just overtype the name and hit tab to create columns. To add a foreign key constraint on the product table, select the relationship tool, click on new table, then on product. All that remains to do now is to generate the alter script for our changes. Select Forward Engineer, Alter Script from the Actions menu. Select the relevant Forward Engineering options. Then click Preview to see our alter script. This script can be run immediately against the database or saved away for later application. If you want to generate a script for more than the current session, or you want to apply changes selectively, then you may want to use Complete Compare to generate your script. From the Actions menu, select Complete Compare. The Complete Compare wizard appears, with the current model already selected as the left model. We need to load the right model to compare this against. We will be comparing the model to the database, so I select Database and click Load. This launches the Reverse Engineer wizard we saw earlier. The 
There are a number of options here to refine the scope of the comparison, but for now I'll just hit compare. Here it becomes clearer what is meant by left and right model. With their object differences shown in the top pane and property differences in the bottom pane. If we collapse and progressively expand the object tree, we can see more clearly the changes we made at the table level, with the hatching indicating the absence of new table. Expanding my table to see its column differences, we can see the additional column extra col I added earlier. Clicking the right pointing arrow adds the column to the right model, removes the difference from the screen. Clicking on the right alter script takes us to the alter script schema generation options window we saw earlier. And after selecting the right options we can preview the script generated for that one action. If we close these and return to the resolve differences dialog we can add new table to the right model and see what differences that makes to the alter script. Returning once again to the Resolve Differences dialog, we can take a closer look at the remaining differences. These differences relate to the creation of the relationship between new table and product. Similar to when drawing the relationship in the diagram, resolving the relationship difference creates the associated index and foreign key column, resolving all outstanding differences and completing our alter script. To be saved or generated as required. That concludes this demonstration. Thank you for watching.